my name is Bruce Edwards. Welcome to another episode of Cashing In On Creativity TV. <laughs> That's right. Uh, you may have heard of my podcast called Cashing In On Creativity Podcast. Uh, where this is a show where we showcase ambitious uh, creative entrepreneurs and, and how they got started in their careers. And uh, this is something that, uh, for me, I always wanted to be an artist when I was young, uh, and nobody showed me how to do this. And this it's kind of spawned on not only the television show, uh, but in my inspiring youth show here on your TV and a number of other podcasts and initiatives. And so it's always fun to find out about other people and realize that you're maybe not as strange as you thought. And today we're going to talk with Ron Gregg. Now Ron is actually a Burlington-based artist, an amazing award-winning uh, artist here in the Burlington, Ontario area. And it's funny how I first met Ron. I first met Ron drawing caricatures at his son's wedding. So I did not know Ron at the time. Uh, I was hired to draw uh, at his son's wedding and I was drawing caricatures. And you know, when you're drawing in that environment, you kind of meet people, but it's always fast. There's always a lineup. It's hard to get to know people. And uh, so I, 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 I drew him and his wife and I drew the, the, the couple and didn't think anything of it. And then uh, probably a, a year later, I'm going to say, uh, Ron recognized me. We, we go to the same gym. He lived just around the corner from me not even 10 minutes and uh we were at the same gym and uh he came over and he said um you know hey i don't know if you remember me but uh aren't you bruce didn't you draw my wedding at my son's wedding and i said okay, yeah, you know, I kind of remember that I went back and looked at the pictures, and uh, since then, uh, we've become fam famous friends, and I didn't know at the time that he was an artist as well. And Ron started out in the commercial world, and uh, was doing basically signage and that kind of thing, and uh, since he's uh, retired, he's now moved into the fine arts, and he has a very interesting career. So I, I had a chance to visit with him. This is all uh, back in the studio before COVID. Uh, I managed to, to to sit down with him and find out about his career and some of the amazing art he's doing. So let's go. All on. right, so I'm in the studio of Ron Gregg and we're here in uh, Burlington. How are we doing today, Ron? Good, thank you very much. Good, so you are a fine artist, very fine. I'm gonna think <laughs> your work is amazing. Um, but let's, you, you used to be in commercial art as well, right? So let's talk yeah, about Yeah, I, I started uh, uh, in college at graphic design, I took that. And then I applied um, uh, uh, to a sign shop to, okay. uh, to get a job. Uh, learning lettering okay uh, because uh, that was back in the 70s and I was <laughs> thinking I was going to be one of these guys that airbrushed vans oh, okay you know and they did all the murals on the vans yeah, yeah, but yeah. I decided that uh, you know I this I worked there for a year and a half and then I applied as a graphic artist to a company called Claude Neon okay which was um, outdoor advertising right uh, I didn't realize how outdoor it was <laughs> it's uh, right outdoor in the science yeah, right but um, so I applied as a graphic artist but I, I went to the the facility where they painted the billboards by hand. Right, right. Okay. So that's how I spent most of my time painting and learning there because okay. uh, I was one of the young guys. 